Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, approximate this near near x equals zero. Okay, so press pause and uh, have a go. Okay, so to do this here, visualize um, visualize this as being like this. Visualize it as as this being in a bubble here. So um, so you've got so you've got a bubble here uh, squared, and then uh, take the fifth root of the whole thing here. So visualize this thing here as being this is your bubble here, okay, so this is your bubble here, and then uh, you square it and then take the fifth root. So uh, visualize as this. Now once you're here, um, the, once you're here, this is the same as this here, and then uh, when, from our section on indices, whenever you have um, x to the power of a and then to the power of b, that's the same as x to the power of a, b. So, uh, so you can get this multiplied by this, it will give you this. Okay, so hang on, let's start again. Originally, you you were given this here. So um, so yeah, this thing here is uh, the same as this. Okay, so um, so now now um, now visualize as this. So um, so here, so so once you're here, we we want to get in the form of one plus um, one plus uh, one one plus x to the power of r. Whenever we get into this form here, we can uh, we can approximate it to uh, to one plus r x. So basically, it's just this times this. Okay, but the thing is, um, if you we could do it now, we could just do this. We could just do this and just get this times this. But um, we can we can uh, approximate it even further. So here we can take an approximation of this thing here. So in a way, it's an approximation within a, an, a, an approximation. Okay, so so let's let's try and approximate this here. So later on, well, well, at, at the moment we've got at the moment we've got this thing plus this thing, and then to the power of this thing here. We could just get this and multiply this. We could approximate it right now, but but let's approximate this bit. So um so now um so so this bit here is this bit here. So let's let's approximate this, and then later on we can uh, take the approximation of the approximation. Okay, so hang on. So visualize this thing here as to the power of minus one. So that would then give you this. Okay, and then um, uh, and don't forget. Um, hang on. Let's go back a few steps. Uh, when when we take an approximation of an approximation, um, don't forget when you approximate this, you you're going to incur some sort of error in in here. And then later on, when you take the approximation of the approximation, you're going to incur an error. On top of an error, just just bear that in mind. Okay, so uh, hang on, let's let's go back a step. So we we started out with this, uh, that would then take us to this, and then um, and then uh, uh, and and then we we could now take the approximation, but let's take the approximation of this. It will give us a simpler answer, right? Um, if we take an approximation of an approximation, it will give us a simpler answer at the end. It won't be as accurate, but it will be a simpler answer. Okay. So now take the approximation of this here, uh, and then blah blah blah. Um, uh, that will then take you to here, and then um, and then here factor out factor out this three here. That will then give you this. Okay. So now um, now we can take the approximation of of the inner bit. Okay. So that will then give us this here. Um, and then and then blah blah blah. Hang on, let me think. Um, yeah. So so now now when you're in this form here, you can now take the approximation of this, just this bit here. So it's basically this times this here. So um, so that that this bit here will then become this. Okay. Well, basically, um, this here is is in a, in the form of um, in the form of one plus uh, one plus x to the power of r here. So r being this, and this here is being this here. So this approximates to um, approximates to this. Okay, and then um, and then so 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 now hang on, uh, so blah blah blah. I'm going to skip this because um, the battery is running low. So blah blah blah. Um, just follow it through. Hopefully, you understand it. It's basically an approximation of an approximation. So that will then give you this, 
this, get a graph plotter, plot it, it will give you this. You see around around x equals uh, zero here, the the blue line approximates to the red the red line. Okay, sorry, the red line approximates to the blue line. 